Today, the internet and the web are basically synonymous, but did you know that HTTP was almost gopher? We take the web for granted today, but it very easily could have been very different. Here's how. So we'll be using a tool called Gopher, which lets you burrow around the internet. It allows you to go for online information using menus. Sounds a little crazy. But it's very hip to be on the internet right now. So let's give it a try. Gopher started at the University of Minnesota much like Facebook did. It was originally a campus-wide information system, and it expanded beyond campus once people realized how awesome it was. From 1991 to 1993, Gopher was the hottest internet app. It came on all the major operating systems, including Turbo Gopher for Mac. There were 15 million Gopher pages, and the hottest search engine for Gopher did 1 million searches per month. It was famously featured on MTV when a DJ wore this exact shirt on air. Gopher was on top of the world. But then one year later, in 1994, it was basically dead. The World Wide Web had taken over. What happened from 1993 to 1994 that made the web win and made Gopher fail? Well, I did some research and it's basically three things. Money, freedom, and Mark Andreessen. As the internet skyrocketed in popularity, both the web and Gopher servers grew completely strained. The internet was increasing in traffic by about one order of magnitude, 10x, every single year from 1991 to 1994. What that meant is that the University of Minnesota felt the pain of trying to support Gopher. It was just too expensive, so they made a very controversial decision. They would start charging a licensing fee, effective February of 1993. This made their early adopters, who were mostly academics and nerds, extremely angry. They actually took to the listservs and were denouncing the decision. IBM actually said that they would not support Gopher anymore as a result of having to pay that fee. But the University of Minnesota either wouldn't or maybe couldn't budge. They actually famously sent that MTV DJ a bill charging him from the services that he used on air. So one reason why Gopher lost is because it lost the game of financial chicken. In 1993, CERN, which ran the web at the time, actually announced that they would allow anybody to use and code on the web for free forever. Henry Ford famously said that his Model T's came in any color that you wanted, as long as you wanted black. And similarly, Gopher would allow anything you wanted on the internet as long as you wanted a menu. People wanted more than that. They wanted to create the entire diversity of what we see on the internet today, but they could only do so using hypertext or hypertext markup language, HTML, which is the standard that the web was built on. For those familiar with Silicon Valley, Andreessen is a household name. He co-founded Andreessen Horowitz, which is arguably the world's top VC firm, but Andreessen got started by popularizing the web with his Mosaic browser. Mosaic had everything. It had links, it had images, it even had a back button, which is an obvious feature that made browsing the internet way easier. Every challenge that the early web faced was met with a new invention from Andreessen and his team. For instance, the web was known as the World Wide Wait because images were taking so long to load. So they coded a new feature into Mosaic that allowed images to keep loading after they already showed you the text that was going to be on the page. And once Mosaic made it easy for anybody to browse those awesome, rich, hypertext-laden pages, the internet and the web completely took off. It's easy to think of the internet and the web as something that just exists, something that was never invented and could never have been any different. Well, it could have gone differently. Maybe if Gopher had won, you would be watching this video by browsing through a menu and then clicking and downloading a file to your computer. It could have happened. The downfall of Gopher shows us that inventions are always improving, and this is the case even for things that are as ingrained as the web. It may have been hard for Gopher folks to think that when they were on top of the world in 1993, that they would be gone by 1994. But we all know how that story turned out for Gopher. And who knows, maybe that's even happening to the web. Only time will tell. <laughs>